Mira, I speak the English because I speak a lot of Spanish at home and to the TV when I'm watching the novela. So I'm practicing here with the Latinos living in the United States the English. And it's very good. It's going well, no? Uh, I'm assuming there's Latinos that speak languages aside from English, right? There's Latinos that speak French, Italian, uh, Portuguese, uh, Swahili. Um, I mean, if you're a Latino, it doesn't mean that you can only speak in Spanish, right? We speak English all the time in our videos because we are, our show is based on Latinos living in the United States. So that is why. And we also have a team in Mexico that does videos in Spanish, but we all speak Spanish outside of the videos. So we speak English in our videos because there's a majority of our fans that do speak English. We do have a Spanish team. Um, but sometimes you'll catch us in a couple videos playing characters when we do speak Spanish. We all speak Spanish. Um, the reason why we speak in English as Latinos, it's because being Latinos doesn't necessarily mean that you speak Spanish. There's um, different types of Latinos that don't actually speak Spanish. There's like Portuguese and stuff like that. A uh, Latino is simply a person that is living in the U.S. with a background of, or the, their ethnicity has some sort of Latino in it. So that's why we speak in English, because we live in the U.S. Yes, we are Latinos, but we speak English because we are not living in the U.S. and we have different backgrounds, even though we're still Latinos. But um, that's how we have to do the videos for you. Spanglish is very beautiful, comadre. Sometimes you don't know a word. For example, my first language is the, the, the Spanish, okay? And then sometimes I don't know a word in English and I just say it in Spanish, like, oh, give me the elotes. I, I don't like to say the corn or the tortillas. I'm not gonna say tortillas. I don't know why I don't like it. So I like a little mix up. It's more party. I like it better. Um, I think it's a reflection of our backgrounds. Uh, a lot of us here on set uh, grew up speaking Spanish in our houses. Um, I'm not one of them. Um, I'm fortunate to have had great teachers uh, in my life and I learned it in school. Uh, but I think it's a reflection of um, our, our, our upbringing. You know, you speak Spanish at home, you go to school, you speak English. So, you know, you start to mix things. I speak, Sp or I speak Spanglish because I'm around a lot of people that speak both English or just only know one language, only English or only Spanish. And we're all together at the same time, so it's easy to just communicate and everybody to understand if I do Spanglish. And also, it's fun. Um, we don't really speak Spanglish. I think we pretty much, for the most part, in our videos, we speak English. We might speak a little bit of Spanish, we do characters sometimes. That's it. Um, the reason why I speak Spanglish is because sometimes, think about this, I, I speak English and I speak Spanish, so I don't really know what language my brain is processing in. You know how sometimes you talk to yourself in your head, like you have that little voice? Sometimes I speak to myself in English, sometimes I speak to myself in Spanish. So if I'm having a conversation and I forget how to say a certain word in English, I throw it in Spanish. That's why I do it, because I simply forgot. <laughs> okay, Spanglish in reality is code switching, okay? And then I grew up speaking Spanish, I learned English later, my parents don't speak Spanish, I mean English at all, so sometimes if you better, if want, for better communication you speak whatever language you want, if the other person is understanding you, why not? The reason is to communicate, it doesn't matter if it's Spanglish, English, or both at the same time. Ooh, I like to talk a lot of Spanish with my friends who I gossip with. Ooh, it's, it's better to gossip in Spanish to me, right? but sometimes you're in the store or something and I, I like to practice the English because I want to be like, in your face, I can speak English too. Um, it depends. Uh, if I know what I'm talking about, I prefer speaking Spanish because I think it's kind of cool that I can speak in another language. It's kind of crazy. Um, when I look at something, I think of it like if I look at a water bottle, I think that's a water bottle, right? I don't think that's a botella de agua, right? So I think it's kind of cool that I've trained my mind to be able to think in another language. But uh, Depends on who I'm with. Um, some people 
obviously that speak Spanish, I prefer speaking Spanish. If I'm with people that speak English, I prefer, prefer speaking English. It depends on the situation. If I'm with my family in Mexico, I just speak full on Spanish because they understand me better. But if I'm here at work or just anywhere in the US, it's easier to speak English just because everybody speaks it. See, when I talk to you guys normal, I'm Terrence. But when I talk to the ladies, soy Terencio Luis. Y lo y hablo español y todo cuando estoy hablando español es como agua, no más mueve así. Mami, 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 así. Pero, ¿no? ¿sí? <laughs> <laughs> Carla. Hey. ¿Qué quieres de relación? Sí, en inglés. English, we can have a normal conversation. When I get to speak Spanish, she'd be all over me, man. It depends who I'm around, what language I'd rather speak. I would have to say that I'm more comfortable speaking and being more um, informative or professional, if you might say, in English because I was raised in the US. So I was taught how to speak English properly. As opposed to Spanish, I didn't grow up in Mexico, so I'm not really sure like what certain words um, like the, the professional saying of certain words are. So I'm definitely more comfortable in English, but when it's in a, a family setting, I like to speak Spanish. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm funnier in Spanish. Mm, but whatever, if it's, if it's for the, for to have a better communication, conversation, whatever language helps. But I feel like I'm, I'm funnier in Spanish. To all the beautiful people, comadres that you're watching, the Living with Latinos, thank you so much. In Espanol, muchas gracias. In Spanglish, thank you very much. In Alfredo, we love you. We send you kisses. Maybe, baby Jesus protect you. Uh, just, I want to definitely thank all of you guys for following us. Um, you know, if we didn't have followers, none of this would be possible, right? Um, I feel like we are giving a voice to Latinos. Um, and I think it's huge for the community in that um, we're showing our stories to people that might not know what it's like from our perspective. So um, without you guys, that voice wouldn't be heard. So thank you very much for following us. Thank you for all your support. We love you. We love what we do and we love making you guys smile, making you guys laugh. And really that's it. Just thank you so much and we hope that you keep liking our videos. Gracias, gracias para todo, para todo el amor y todo. Thank you so much. Not only did you make me happy, you make my family happy. I used to be the person that come to the family reunions and I wasn't doing nothing with my life. But thanks to you guys at home, I'm now the hot shot at the family reunions. So thank you so much for all the love, man. We just appreciate it and uh, gracias para todo. Um, I would like to just thank you guys so much for the continuous support. Uh, you guys are such loyal fans. We appreciate every comment that you have, good or bad. It helps us grow, it helps us learn. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing our videos and laughing with us and enjoying what we have to share with you. We love you so much. Mwah. We have a lot coming. Thank you for watching Living with Latinos. You guys are beautiful and we really, really, really appreciate reading every comment and every, every, every expression of love you guys sent us. Thank you.